I'm just ensuring that it's really healthy and strong. I felt like I was just putting a lot of like stuff onto my skin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. For those of you that are new here, my name is Laura Leanne and today we're going to be dissecting and talking about my evening skincare routine. Now, what I'm going to be showing you is my very simple yet effective evening skincare routine. It probably contains five, six steps. It's not a lot. I will be talking to you at the end of the video. If you are a skincare newbie, what products you can start off with. It's definitely not going to be five or six. You only need to start off with three products if you are new to skincare. But I'm gonna be talking to you about what I use for my skin, what's been helping me over the summer since my breakouts, and just everything in between. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So a little bit about my skin. I have combination skin, so I have dry areas, I have oily areas, I am acne prone. As you can see, I will pop loads of images on the screen so you know what my skin looks like i think you can sort of see a little bit here and also i suffer with pigmentation as well so my main focus with my routine is that i want to keep my complexion calm especially if new spots come up all the time which honestly i have hormonal acne so spots come up all the time especially during certain times of my cycle but my main focus is to keep my complexion really calm but as well as that I really want to make sure that I'm strengthening my skin's barrier, I'm not compromising it whatsoever and I'm just ensuring that it's really healthy and strong. So let's get in to the products. So cleansers, sometimes I will double cleanse of an evening, it just depends how much makeup I have on or how oily my skin feels and looks and it, yeah it all depends. I don't double cleanse every night purely just because the cleansers that I'm using and how long I'm cleansing my skin for and everything like that it pretty much does a good job at getting rid of everything so I don't feel like I need to. So if I am double cleansing for the evening my first cleanser is a balm. Now when I first started using balms I was a little bit grossed out at how horrible it made my skin feel like I felt like I was just putting a lot of like stuff onto my skin but honestly I've learned that you don't actually need too much you just need the tiniest bit and honestly it just melts away everything it melts away SPF makeup it just breaks it down dissolves it so when you're cleansing your skin it just washes away so the one I'm using at the moment is the organic pharmacy carrot butter cleanser this is really really nice it smells incredible it's almost like a spa like scent it's really really nice but like I said you really don't need a lot I've had this for quite a while which is probably not ideal but as you can see I've literally not even used a lot it's not even halfway through so that is something that I just love using when it comes to you know wanting just an extra step you know for when you are like when it comes to the end of the day I'm not sure about you if you have combination skin but at the end of the day sometimes my skin can be really 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 greasy and I just need like a fresh start so I do go in with a balm. So the next cleanser I go in with or a cleanser that I use in my morning routine and again in my evening routine or it may just be the only cleanser that I use if I'm not double cleansing and this is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Now you probably would have seen this absolutely everywhere, it's a brand that is blown up in 2020 and I can see why, it's, it's incredible. Now this is for normal to dry skin and the reason why I bought this is because although I have combination skin, when it comes to winter my skin gets really really dry so I just love using this, it's really gentle and it contains three essential ceramides which is really good for helping to restore and maintain the skin's barrier and of course it contains hyaluronic acid as well which we all know is going to help hydrate the skin. It doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't over dry it out and it's just 
it's just a perfect start to sort of like start your routine so i would 100 percent recommend this product so the next step in my routine is an added extra however i feel like using this product just really sets up my skin for the other products it sort of works really well the product that i use next is the boots glow brightening mist it's just a really simple and it's ultra fine you know when you get those like essences or sprays and it comes to spraying the skin and you feel like you've just drenched your skin this is ultra fine it is really really nice and refreshing it's got some great ingredients in here it's got hyaluronic acid it's got vitamin e it's got niacinamide which is also really great if you use hyaluronic acid or an alternative which is polyglutamic acid the best way to apply those is on damp skin and the reason being is if you include hyaluronic acid and you're putting it on dry skin it's not really grabbing moisture from anywhere because obviously your complexion is too dry i want to make sure that my skin is thoroughly hydrated and it's just got enough moisture on there so it's not going to dry out the next product i go in with is an exfoliator this is something that i use pretty much every other day or every two days i go in with the murad replenishing multi-acid peel this contains BHAs, glycolic acid and lactic acid. So what those ingredients do is that it helps to get rid of dead skin, it helps to reveal a smoother textured surface and it also helps to give your skin that little bit of natural radiance. This also contains tranexamic acid. It's really nice to find out that it's actually also in this product as well because not only am I going to help get rid of dead skin, help promote a healthier skin complexion, but it's also going to help with my pigmentation as well. So it's a really good formula. I have read somewhere that you can use this daily, however I just I don't think that's for me. I don't think you need to use it daily. I just use it, like I said, every other night or every two nights, definitely in the evening. Then I go in with my treatment. I'm using the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Formula. Now we all know how popular and probably the most overused product from The Ordinary. If you have acne, you've probably used this before. I wanted to give this another go and honestly I am so pleased. I think it's been about two weeks since I started using it again and honestly once you push past that first week it's honestly really really good. It just helps to calm my pimples. I don't get as many. Like I said it just calms them out. My skin has looked less red than ever before. And also, this sounds really weird, but my complexion looks a little bit more refined. Introducing this product, I did only use it once a day because obviously it was a new product and I was introducing it. Then I went on to using it twice a day like it's advised. So yeah, this is my treatment step in my routine as well as the Murad Acid. And I find that this combination works really, really well. And yeah, my skin has never looked better really. Next up in my routine is my hydrator. Now previously I have used hyaluronic acid. It's something that I will always promote using if you are obviously new to skincare. However an ingredient that I've sort of like moved on to is polyglutamic acid. Polyglutamic acid is derived from fermented soybean which is basically there to help intensively hydrate and moisturize your skin. I find that this compared to the hyaluronic acid just leaves your skin a lot more hydrated and a lot more healthy looking. I feel like with hyaluronic acid, again depending on how you use it, I feel like the formula is just too dry in and my skin just doesn't like it as much as this one. I will still use that ingredient in other formulas, it's just not an ingredient that I would use on its own. Polyglutamic can hold four times as much moisture as hyaluronic acid, so it's definitely something that I love incorporating into both my morning and my evening routine. It does suggest to use this product after your serums and after your moisturizers, as basically it works to create a film over your complexion however i just i just feel a bit alien doing that and it's just something that i don't i just don't do it's something that i apply 
after my treatment and before my moisturizer. This next product is probably a product that we either love or we hate. An eye cream. Now, the one I use is the Boots Ingredients Caffeine Eye Cream. So the main reason why I would potentially use an eye cream is because I just wanna make sure that my eye area is thoroughly hydrated. If you just want a little bit of ed added extra, then add an eye cream. So the final step of my evening skincare routine, the moisturizer that I use is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I did used to use their moisturizing cream, which is in a bigger bottle. Uh, this one only comes in, I think it's like 52 mil, and it's very, very small. I don't think you can get a bigger version of this. Again, just like the cleanser, it contains three essential ceramides. Like I said, that helps to strengthen your skin's barrier. It contains hyaluronic acid. Again, it's gonna help moisturize your skin. And it also contains niacinamide. So again, that helps to calm your acne. So I found that this one is really, really nice. Like I said, I have used the cream as well, which is a much thicker consistency. So the difference between creams and lotions is that a cream is usually half water, half oil, and it's a lot thicker in consistency. So it's great if you have extremely dry skin, even sensitive skin. And then with a lotion, it's usually water-based with maybe a few drops of oil and it's a lot lighter in consistency. So if you have super oily skin, combination skin or acne prone, this product is gonna be absolutely amazing or any lotion that you can sort of get your hands on. Like I said, it's a lot lighter in consistency so you're not gonna feel like you're weighing down your skin. It's just a really, really nice change from using a lotion. I just wish that it was in a bigger bottle because, I mean, it's probably because of the added niacinamide and other ingredients in there, why it's a lot more expensive and it's in a smaller bottle. But one day it may be in a bigger bottle, who knows. So that is all of my evening skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed watching it and you found some beneficial things in there. You found some, maybe some new favorites or some ideas as to what you can use on your skin. If you are a skincare newbie, cleanser, exfoliator, and moisturizer is probably what you can start off with. Everything else is just added extras that I use because it really helps my skin. And I've been really loving how my skin looks recently. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe as I would love to have you. And I hope to see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.